is how are you all doing today as you can see by the title it is another Timu haul and let me just tell you it's a big one so I've got one two massive parcels that I'm going to open up with you guys now I did open up one of these packets because when I've had Timu hauls before they've actually come through in Timu packaging but these are just plain wet packaging so I wanted to check what they were so yeah, I'll quickly open one up and then realise what they were. So I haven't actually been through them at all. Um, but yeah, so stick around if you want to see what I've got from Timu. But just before I get into that, I just want to quickly show you something that's been kindly gifted from a brand that not long ago gifted me something. And it's the brand Draw LRE, as I couldn't pronounce it before. So I'll pop the brand on the screen here. Um, so we do things like the, you know, like the fingerprint jewellery, they do um, jewellery boxes, they do necklaces, earrings, rings, they do loads of different things. So I'll leave all of the details in the description box down below. So if there's a discount code as well, it'll be in the description box. So I've received two things from them. I've received this lovely little jewellery box. I've seen these on a, a few different sites. Um, but this one's actually got my initial on it as well. I think you could, you can put different things on there as well. So you may, you may be able to put your full name. Um, if I just open this up. So you've got this here so you can put your rings or earrings in there. You've got these little bits for like, you know, your necklaces maybe or bracelets. And then this bit comes down here. You can put your earrings in here as well. It's like little holes. And then... You can pull this bit down and you've got little hooks on there so you can actually put necklaces on there as well there's like a little tiny pocket here so maybe dangle the necklaces off there and then you know if there's any like charms or anything on them they could go in the little pocket before that's really cute and i don't actually have a jewelry box at the moment so that's why i picked that one another thing is as well you can actually take these um little dividers out so if you don't want you know these in there you can actually take them out or you can actually use them to divide it up so I thought that was really cute. So I'm looking forward to popping my jewellery in that because I'm, I'm collecting quite a bit of jewellery at the moment. They've also sent me these absolutely gorgeous earrings. They're little spinny ones. Look at that. They actually spin. Really, really cute. Let me just get one out for you just to show you. How cute. They're like little windmills. And then they're just so, so cute. So... Yeah, I picked these. I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. But I have decided to put these in a giveaway. So I will have a giveaway running soon. My giveaway is for when I hit 2,000 subscribers. And I'm about 60 odd away from 2,000. So once I actually hit that, um, I'm doing a giveaway. So at the moment, I've got a few beauty items put together and I'm going to put the earrings in there as well so these are real silver earrings so yeah I'm going to pop them in there so if you want to win those earrings and the makeup and the skincare then just you know carry on watching my channel and hopefully I'll be there soon and you can enter the competition so thank you so so much for sending those to me i really really appreciate it like i said it's the second lot of items that have been sent to me so i just i just think it's absolutely amazing so thank you so so much but anyway let's get on with the haul because that's why you're here so if you want to see what i've been buying from timo just continue to watch right let's start off i think this is the one that's yeah this is the one that's actually open let's turn that round like that right then so the first thing we've got is some spice jars. They actually come with the labels as well. So you actually write on the labels and then just stick them on the jar so you can put whatever you want in them. The labels that I got for my last um, spice jars, they were actually already printed. But I just thought with a nice white um, pen, I don't think it actually comes with it, no. You know like um, a white chalk pen maybe? Um, with some nice like sort of calligraphy type writing um, I thought they'd look really cute now the reason why I bought these was actually for Marcus and Kelsey for their new house because um, they said they didn't have any but I liked them that much I've actually bought myself the same set so I should have two lots of these in here because I'm not liking the white I don't know why I went with the white ones before because a lot of the stuff in my kitchen is black and silver 
so i think these will look better so that's the first thing all of the prices and the links will be in the description box below so if you want to go over to timu click on the link i've also got a link on there which is an affiliate link so if you wanted to go through that um i just wanted to be open and honest with you that um i could actually benefit from that if you actually click on it um and also i will pop a code on there for any new app users you could get around 50 percent off your first order so yeah check that out if you like uh right next thing so this is it's like a plate rack so it's not actually put together let me just see if you can actually see the picture on there can you see that so you actually just like stack the plates in them um cleared two of my cupboards out um the backing has actually come off it so we need to get a new backing on it and then i'm gonna put everything back in there and i'll just want it to be a lot neater so i think i bought two of those i'm not sure because do you know what i've had this parcel for quite a while now and i ordered it quite a while ago so there's a few things that i've forgotten about but yeah so i'm looking forward to sorting that out i also got so if you've been watching my channel for a while i might have mentioned that my, i need a new sofa so where the dog's been on them and he's been playing especially when he was a puppy he sort of scratched that thumb and they've gone like quite rough and bobbly you can't really see it but you can feel it so I've just bought these for now. They're just like little cushion um, covers. I think they're like a chevron pattern. Nice grey, soft. Um, so you can see the pattern on there. So it's like a fleecy sort of material. And this should stretch across the... Um, so I think it's a four-seater going across the back. And then it's a... Or this might be the three-seater one. And then it's a three-seater going down the side because it's a corner sofa. So I think I'm, I did pick up two of these to go across it. And then the back cushions are grey anyway, so it shouldn't look too bad. So I am going to put this on the sofa today because, yeah, it's not very comfortable. But I have been looking at sofas online and I want to go and check some out in some shops. So hopefully I'll be getting a new sofa soon. But it's quite an expensive purchase, isn't it? So, yeah, that one was expensive that we had. Right, so we've got a little parcel here. Like this is oh so we've got this this sticker comes off it so it's just a little sort of chrome stopper and this is for my bathroom sink um so i've got like the little hole which is the overflow um but i don't ever put a plug in the sink so it doesn't need the overflow so i'm going to block it up because it can get really quite grimy and it doesn't look nice in there so I'm just going to pop this in there and then you know things won't go in there and, and make it really dirty so hopefully that will fit I'm pretty sure it's like a standard sort of size anyway um so yeah that's just for the bathroom just a little boring thing but something that I do need uh next thing I've got is this little gadget is an eyeliner aid so I don't tend to do a lot of the flicky liners now main reason is i really struggle with it now i've always used eyeliner since i was quite young but i've never actually got the the actual hang of doing it properly so i've got this just to try it out and um i'll probably use it in a video um i've seen quite a few um youtubers tiktokers use this influencers whatever you want to call them but yeah so i thought i'd just try that out right this sparkly thing here is like a little net so it's summer now i've got a dog his dog food may be down throughout the day and i'm getting flies through the door so what i'm having to do is pull my curtain over when i'm having the door open so i need some sort of netting over it so i don't have to pull the curtain over so i've seen these on timu and i thought you know what i'm gonna give them a go so I mean, how I think this is really cute. I bought two of them because, you know, there's two doors and you can you can pull them across. It just goes on a pole and pop it through there. You can get one of those extendable poles um, that just sort of like hook up either side of the um, of the door. Do you know what I mean? Actually, in the the doorway. But um, yeah, they're just like really cute 
glittery um i mean people used to have these in like the 80s and the 90s didn't they but it's like a really cute one it's not like the ones you know the stripy ones that have got like loads of colors on them um so hopefully it's going to be the right length if it's not i'm pretty sure it won't be hard to cut it so yeah i think that is really really cute like i said i've got two of those to go on the door and at the moment my curtains they're quite they're not fully lined curtains for the back they're just um sort of light gray and they've got sparkly bits on there so i think they will go really nicely I'm looking forward to getting that pole and putting them up what else have we got oh look at this it's all screwed up you think they've put this flat hopefully it'll go on all right but i've just got it for the bathroom door i just thought it was quite cute this is bathroom on there and it's got like a geometric sort of pattern around it with some like palm leaves a bit of pink and gold on there so yeah hopefully when it comes off it's just like a sticker, so it should be all right. Lovely. I've got another one of those things for my plate. I've got a little tiny. Let me get out of the pack so I can show you properly. This is so cute. Oh, it's got two packets on it. So it's a little key ring. And it's a little tiny holy bible so izzy is catholic i'll say is because i believe that she's she's still catholic she's still her spirit is still here so i'm not gonna say refer to her in the past tense but yeah she's catholic um if you're new here my my daughter did pass away in 2020 and i do like to buy her little things to actually go on her a grave or as i call it a forever bed um so yeah just things that i know that she would like um i just thought this was really really cute and it can just hang off um the little hooks we've got for her lanterns and um, it opens up and i think it has actually got writing in yeah so the pages are actually written and i think it's got some yeah it's got some pictures there as well so absolutely gorgeous and I, I think it was just i think it was less than a pound so it's just a black and gold one so i might put some some nice um packaging around it so it doesn't get too ruined with the with the you know the pages in the rain but i think she'd really like that i might even put it inside her lantern so that's that one for izzy i always try and buy something for izzy I've also got another few key rings. So my husband's key ring broke recently off his car keys. And he's just going around with just a car key at the moment. And then his house keys. And he needs something sort of, you know, bulky to actually put them on. So I got this one here, which is just like a leather sort of um, bracelet -y band thing. And it's got the normal um, keychain bit on it. It just says creative details on there. It's just obviously just the branding. But I just thought that that would be just right for his car key and his house key. So hopefully he'll like that. And then I've got Marcus. This one. I don't really want to open it up. But it says. To my son. Never forget that I love you forever. I hope you believe in yourself. As much as I believe in you. And it's just like a little. Um a little silver one like to go on these keys um oh no this isn't a um i'm pretty sure i've got one for Kelsey as well where is it i'm sure i'll find it in a minute i know i've gone with Kelsey. this is for izzy as well i can open this one up hi everyone so this is sean from the future I was just editing my haul and realised that I'd lost a lot of footage, um, which means that I didn't show you some of the items. Um, so I'm going to show you them now and um, whack it in, stick it in the middle before I finish up. So first thing is this here, which is a spice rack. Um, it does say under sink organiser. 
um, because it's down as you can use it for for a few different things I'm gonna put some where uh, I'll put some pictures up sort of like there or there <laughs> So you can actually see what it looks like um, when it's built up. But I actually bought two of these in the black. Um, I bought one for me and then one for Marcus and Kelsey. Because I think you would have seen at the beginning. I got them the spice jars as well. So yeah, got that. Um, I also got this ring fill light. Um, I'm just showing the things that I think that have been missed out but yeah so if you've seen this already i'm sorry but yeah this is a ring light it's just a small one um i've gone through so many different ring lights it's uh it's ridiculous but this is just a sec uh, 16 centimeter one and um you can like clip it onto a a bigger tripod if you wanted to um i've also got these um headphones so these are by lenovo so it's quite a good brand um and I got these in the beige colour. So that's what they actually look like out of the box. Really nice. And they fold up like this. So, you know, just whacking your, whacking your case or whacking your handbag to take out. I just think they're really good. Lovely, soft padding on them as well. Now, I haven't actually tried them out, but I'll let you know how I get on with those. But I just think they're... That's such a pretty colour. And then the last thing is just this storage unit here. It's to go under my stairs. It's actually a corner one. I've got it in the black. And it's got hooks on it as well for coats. Um, so you can put your bags on here. Maybe some shoes. I have got a shoe rack under there as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would be so much better. Like hanging some of my coats on and stuff. Um, for storage. So yeah, I will let you know how I get on with this when I actually put it up um the same with the um spice rack as well but um yeah I think that was it that I'd missed out if there was anything else I'll put some pictures up and uh just put the information on the screen for you oh, my lovelies my camera died which is a very rookie error for somebody that does log in as their full-time job and <sighs> I, I don't learn I never learn so yeah I've charged it up so hopefully it's got enough charge in it to get through this I'm gonna stop rabbiting on and get on with the haul last thing I showed you was this sponge for my bath next thing I found it I found the key ring for Kelsey look at this I'll open it up but I'll pop it back in the bag again for her <laughs> I told you I got her something. It is really little, but I just think it's so cute. She absolutely, absolutely loves wearing a white croc. She'll probably turn up in them today if she's coming with Marcus. But yeah, look how cute this is. This little white croc. It's 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 literally I can't get words out there. It's literally perfect. So, and she's driving now, so she can pop her house keys and her car keys on that. It's, it literally just feels like a little mini croc. It's exactly the same. It's like proper croc material. Look at the bottom of it as well. <laughs> I love that. So pop that in there. Not expensive at all. Just a little tiny um, prezi for them. There's my other little netting for the back doors. And when I say back doors, I've got a French door. So if you are new here, it's not just one door. It's like double doors. That's why I bought two. So there's the other padding for the sofa. Right, that's one parcel down. So let's chuck that over there. This one over here. I get this opened up. Good thing about Timu, they do pack their stuff well very very well right. right I'm in so we have so these are some padded runners to go into my kitchen so we've got the old part of the kitchen that comes in from the hall and then we've got um, our kitchen is an extension I'm actually in the kitchen now this is just our lounging area on the other side of the kitchen so along the um, I don't think I've bought one for the old one. I'm not sure how many I bought, but I think I bought one for 
where the um, cooker is and the unit and then also underneath the sink as well for when I'm standing there because we've just got floorboards. Do you want to get the flooring done? I think we're doing it once we've done the kitchen because we do want, we do want a new kitchen. I'll put up last few minutes there, I? But yeah, so these are the mats. They've got the grippy bit on them as well so they won't keep moving around. Um, but yeah, look how long they are. Really really long really soft and padded dropping up for now yeah they're really soft and padded but look at that pattern it's gorgeous and if you can see the background i've got like this um wallpaper that looks like strips of wood and these are the sort of colors that i've got in my kitchen also on my tiles as well so i absolutely love them really do so let me just show you the uh so that's the length let me just show you the width so that's the whips there. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm really chuffed with them. They're so soft as well. So I'm going to put pop those down in a minute. I think I, you know what? I think I did buy three. So one that's coming in from the hallway, and then the other two in the um, extension part. So there's the other one. Um, and with a fight, I've got the third one out. So yeah, that's the third one. I just think they're absolutely lovely. I'll show you once they're down as well. I'll put some footage in of how they look. I would have put a photo here as well of of what they actually look like online. But they, they're they absolutely perfect. I really do like them. Do you know what? This has been a really good haul. The first Timu haul that I did didn't go very well. I had to send quite a few things back. But since then, I don't know. I think they've upped their game. I really do. I really do think they've got their game. Um, is this the last thing? Yep, yeah, let's get rid of that. This is the last thing, and this is my spice wrap. So, also in black, tipped there. So, like I said, I will put in some footage of when I've built this. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that is my Timu haul. So, I've got quite a lot of things there. As I said at the beginning, I'm going to link everything in the description box below. So if you do want to go ahead and buy something, my link will be there. The links will be there for everything that I've bought. And also, please use that discount code if you've never used Timu before and you want to use it for the first time. Get yourself some discount. I'm not just saying that so you go and buy everything and spend loads of money. I'm just saying if you want to, go and buy something, use my discount code if you haven't actually bought anything from Timu before because you'll save yourself a bit of money. But yeah, that is it. That is the end of my haul. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway because it doesn't affect you, but it makes my channel spread out to the YouTube world and get other people watching it and also if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell just to let you know every time i upload a video i do upload all the time i do hauls i do come shop with me i do daily vlogs i'll get back into my cooking vlogs again because i used to do a lot of cooking vlogs so i'm, I'm trying to get back into them and yeah, just a bit of everything really. So it's just a lifestyle channel. So if you do like channels like that, go back and have a look at some of my videos. I'll link some videos below and then I'll also put one up here at the end so you can go and pick. And yeah, that is it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.